Hello, I'm Brad Ott, field agronomist in Southern Ohio with Matt Stroud, territory manager. So we're standing in a wheat field that the farmer decided to go ahead and kill off. We get that question a lot of how do we decide to keep something or not. So Matt, what were two of the, the major factors that they decided on when they wanted to go ahead and kill this field? Well, Brad, with the, with the wet harvest season we had and a little bit later planting, it appears that we had a lot of rain here throughout the winter. And with saturated soils and ponding, we had a lot of dead spots out in the field. Probably half the field looked like it wasn't in very good health, wasn't keeping up with the other fields that the farmer has. And we got very much a lack of tillering and growth and uh, crop conditions just don't look very good. So here's, here's an example of what we were looking at. You can see how thin the wheat stand is for the most part. Just didn't tiller the way it should have. A lot of wet conditions more winter kill than what, we'd, what we would have anticipated. And from this picture, you can see an example of the wetness in this field with the giant crawdad holes. Standing across the driveway here in another field that the grower has and showing an example of a field that's experienced a little bit better green up, has a lot more tillering, and we feel like there's a lot more yield potential here so the grower let it grow. Brad, what are some examples or uh, some thoughts on protecting the yield that the grower has out here? Two big things to watch out for. Uh, we're hitting a critical time on cutoff for, for herbicides. Uh, most of those depend on when the flag leaf emerges and fungicides as well. We want to protect that flag leaf as much as possible. So if you have any other questions, feel free to contact your local sales rep, uh, territory manager, or field agronomist. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.